Hello, welcome to the RC Block. I'm Jamie Nitro. Thank you for tuning in. Tonight I have in front of me a Toy NL 400 engine and I'm going to talk tonight all about this water pump right here. Uh, this guy gave me a bunch of problems when I first put this engine together. Uh, as you can see right now, it's moving very nicely and I'm going to teach everybody how to get this out of this result out of their engine and I'm gonna take mine apart here give you guys a couple tips and I hope this really helps people out now um, when you're loosening things off try to loosen bolts off in sequence so that you don't warp anything uh, what I've done here on my engine is I've added a button head cap screw to the side where the belt is on this corner and that's because the belt comes down here and on these cap screws they actually rub on the belt and I don't want I don't like that personally so what I've done is I used a button head cap screw in place of these little cap screws now the manual will have the size of the cap screw originally and all I did was got the same size uh, in a button head form <laughs> All right, so this guy is almost ready to come out here. Now I should mention here, when I, whenever I'm taking this water pump out, I always leave this front plate on. And the reason for that is it's very easy for the little pulley inside here to uh, be taken out. And if you take that pulley out, you can disturb the O-ring and the seal behind that pulley. Now I'm about to pull this out here. And there's my Teflon uh, washers there, Teflon spacers, I guess you can call them. Now, uh, this is the pulley I'm talking about. There's the seal there, and behind there, there's an O-ring, and you don't want to disturb that. So leave that front cover in place. Now, I'm just going to go in here and just pull out the gear itself, and that will bring the Teflon washers out, spacers out here. Now as you can see, I do have both of my spacers. Now I don't want to lose which way I had it in. It's kind of hard because there's raised portions. And that raised portion there is where it was facing the engine. Now, pulley wants to go hiding on me. No damages inside. The gear looks good. Everything looks good, right on. I've got about two gallons of gas through this engine and uh, everything is looking very positive right now. I'm very happy with this engine so far. I put a little assembly lube in there, keep everything nice and looped up here. When we're putting this in, want to make sure that little, little, uh, that little recessed shoulder there is facing out so that you can see it and that is for that part of this guy so what I'll do here when we're putting this back together I have both of my Teflon spacers in place everything is lined up on top of the raised portion of this plate now I'm going to put the water pump plate on, line up the spline of the gear here. And then just make sure, nice and gently, push everything in so that the little Teflon spacers go in nicely. Now at this point we can go ahead and put our capsules back in. And I'll show you this the step that really helped me uh, line everything up and they don't really mention this stuff in the book or the manual um, so a lot of it is really figuring it out and that's what we're doing tonight I should also mention in my videos I try to do everything in one take sometimes you might see me fumble a little bit and sometimes I get her perfectly so I can bring you the best, best 
quality information possible. You're not getting a bunch of hokey stuff or edited stuff. That's what I do. Try to bring you the best videos possible. So, back to this engine. I have everything finger tightened. Uh, nothing is torqued down yet. Now, there are no, no torque specs for this engine. So, you don't really have to worry about torquing things down too tight. You just don't want to be stripping any threads or anything like that. Now, this can still move a little bit. I don't want to move it too much right now. What I want to do first is make sure I get the pulley and the shaft lined up. And with this plate in uh, installed on the motor, now I can take this plate out. So we'll pop this one. And when we're pulling this plate out, uh, use something like I'm going to use this Allen key to hold the pulley in, uh, in place so that when I pull off the plate it's not going to actually pull the pulley out of place so there we go I got the pulley and the bearing off it's a good time to check that bearing make sure everything feels smooth which that one does I use upgraded bearings on mine Now, if you take this pulley, I just make sure that nothing is tightened down. I can loosen these off just a tad, just enough that nothing raises up, but now I can really wiggle this plate around. So that plate wiggles really easily, and so does this gear. So what I wanna do is I wanna wiggle this gear side to side, up and down. I'll get right close so you guys can see that. But you can actually see there's actually a pretty good amount of uh, wiggling going on there. But that's okay, everything's still really loose. Now I'm going to tighten these screws up just a little bit more now. I'm going to wiggle this again. It's going to help move the plate. And gear and shaft all in place in alignment there every time I tighten these up a little bit more I give this a little wiggle make sure everything's doing good everything feels good now so I'm gonna not torque these down but I'm gonna tighten them down so that nothing's going to move on me now As you can see I'm not torquing anything just nice and tight we can go ahead and put this cover this pulley cover back on and the whole time I'm constantly making sure that I'm not going to knock that pulley or pull that pulley out because as soon as that pulley gets pulled out of the plate game over you got to put everything back together uh, you got to take the o-ring put the pulley back in make sure the o-rings and the shoulder and the seal sits nicely re-grease the seals with uh, some red grease there uh, and then uh, then you're back to where we are now so you don't want to pull that pulley out. So before I tor torque these down here, I'm just going to double check that this is moving nicely, which it is. Moving very nicely, nice and smooth too, which is what you want. Yep, still moving good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish tightening these down. Now, just to make sure I didn't uh, miss anything here. I'm going to go back. Did you see how much that moves around there? But now she's really nice. 
really nice and straight. Everything's still moving good. Yes. So this is where I can go ahead and torque all my bolts down. We go on a crisscross pattern. All right, everything is tightened down. And that water pump pulley is now moving very easily. It's very smooth. And that's exactly what you want for this pump. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please subscribe and uh, watch more of my videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great evening and good luck on your next build. Bye for now.